What's up creative minds? I am Serangel and this is your photo chef. I posted a video last week on how to get super sharp photos. 10 ways to get super sharp photos. I'll link it down in the description below. Now if you've not watched it, you should go watch that video. Today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my photos after taking them, obviously taking them the right way. How I sharpen my photos in Photoshop. And what I believe is the easiest way and one of the most effective ways to sharpen photos in Photoshop. So without wasting much of your time, let me roll the intro and let's get into today's video. And if you like this video well enough, be sure to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button to be part of this community if you're not already subscribed. See you in Photoshop. Alright guys, welcome to Photoshop. I've got the image fired up already as usual. So make sure you select your topmost layer. Now hit Command Option Shift E or Control Shift Alt E on Windows. I'm using Mac, so Command Option Shift E just to merge everything you've done to the top. Now after doing everything, your color grading and all of that. Yeah. Now go to Filter, Sharpen, and on Sharp Mask. So Filter, Sharpen, on Sharp Mask. And then zoom in on the image you can use command and plus to zoom in or just command and then click it will zoom in yeah now you can see it is 80 it's set to 80 over here now i advise you, you use about between between 10 and 200 or say between 0 and 200 um just push it to where you know you feel like the image looks right and then stop there now to me this is a bit too much so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to decrease it for most pictures i use about 80 to 100 but for this picture i'm going to go ahead and i'll leave it around that bit just because i've done it i've kind of finished retouching the image and all that and i've exported it and posted it on my instagram i'm just showing you the process so um yeah hit okay and then with the radius yeah i i advise that you keep it between one and two yeah keep it between one and two i tend to leave it at one most of the time um, and um just go ahead and hit okay now i have your before and your after before and after before and after now you can see it is very sharp if you feel like the sharpness is too much go ahead and decrease the opacity and you should blend things in even better now in some instances you might want to sharpen the hair and sharpen the eyes and you know have just a very subtle sharp sharpness on the skin um so in that case you can just decrease the opacity of this one duplicate it and then create a layer mask invert the layer mask by hitting command i selecting your brush to zoom in a little bit and then brush on the hair just on the hair take your time and do it well i mean it's a rough mask but take your time and do it well and then you can go ahead and paint the eyes as well if you want sharpness in the eyes as well paint the eyes and then paint the lips well if you want sharpness there or basically paint the areas want you want more sharpness yeah and if i increase your pace to 100 you can see the effect especially on the hair before after before after now this kind of effect we just did is affecting only the hair um so if you don't need that go ahead and delete that layer and you'll be left with this one right there leave the opacity where you think is cool and there you have it guys i think this is the simplest way to sharpen your images very simple very quick very effective so um, if you like this video hit the like button smash the subscribe button and be part of this community if you don't like this video at all please subscribe as well because i'm going to be releasing another video and it might be something for you and guess what i got the new dji mini 3 pro and i'll be releasing an unboxing video on that next week so stay tuned for that as well remember my name is Sarah and Joe. this is your footage chef stay creative and keep smiling see you in the next video peace